Well, hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Real Fun Lifestyle and Fishing. Well, Johnny, we've done some stupid things, but this has to be right up there with the best of them, right? Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. <laughs> so, guys, really hope you appreciate what we're doing for you guys today, because last week's episode, we had uh, Shrekie on, Chris Shrekie Rolston and we smashed the garfish and we got absolutely inundated with requests on what did we do, how did we do it, where did we go, so today you and I are going to show our viewers how to do it, right? The basics on how to how to fish for garfish. Yeah, yeah, so we also had, um, I think one of, the few, one of the first few episodes of the season was actually garfish as well. Yeah. And we, yeah, I said, we got smashed with requests of rigs, that sort of stuff, you know, just a little bit more information. And we, we want to share that information for you so you can actually go out and catch your own fish. And, you know, as you said, some of the silliest things, what, it's like, one degrees here, Dean? One degree. One degrees? One degree, mate. So, Unbelievable. Guys, it is unbelievably cold. It's a beautiful day. I yeah. mean, the sun's pointing straight at us now, so it's a nice and warm, but I've got to tell you, loading the boat up this morning, my hands were frozen, and, and on the way down here, it was zero degrees, but hey, stop whinging. We're out on the water. We could be at work, which would be worse, right? You know, you know what I always say, Dean? Fish don't care if it's cold, raining or wet. You know, perfect. They're mate. still there. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Well, guys, stay tuned. In this episode is all about uh, how to fish for gars, and at the end of it, I've got a special guest who's going to come on and he's going to show us how to cook them. Hope you learn plenty. Stay tuned, and we uh, we will get some, right? We will, yes. Okay, guys, let's go from the start. The basics to gar fish fishing. Now, you're going to attract the fish to the boat, or the fish to where you're fishing. So if you're fishing off a pier, you want to attract them to the pier. If you're fishing off a boat, you want to attract them to the boat. So, good mixture of burley. Now, I've already mixed that up. It's got, contents are bread, uh, uh, pellets, like uh, snapper pellets, tuna oil, water, and breadcrumbs. Mix it all together, you get a nice slushy like that. Now, we'll put a little bit over, like, like that. You'll see it disperse. The garfish will, garfish will smell that, see that, they'll come into the boat. Yeah. Very critical that you get the burly right, because if you don't attract them to where you are, they're going to be very hard to catch. The next thing we're going to cover is um, the rig. So, this is a traditional garfish rig. Um, it's got a float, pencil float. You've got two split shot sinkers. You've got a very, very tiny hook there. Um, this one's very small. We also use sizes 12 as well. So that's the rig that we will use today. We'll also use a few other rigs, so uh, depending on the location we're fishing and that sort of stuff. It really depends on the fish. So not every day one rig will work. Sometimes you have to mix it up and once you, once you uh, work out what they're feeding on or the patterns, then you change everything else over. So the next thing we're going to cover is baits. They got very small mouths, these garfish, so we've, uh, we've got the traditional white bait, we're going to use that. But also, you might have seen last week's episode, we used a bit of prawn. So, um, what I've done already is cut, cut up the prawn in little, little pieces, like that, little small pieces. Maybe that's a little bit too big, I'll cut that in half, and we'll stick that on the hook, and we'll send that one out. Now, we're going to send white bait and prawns out and we'll work out which one they're gonna take. They might take both of them today, they might just take one of them today. So we'll work that feeding pattern out and then we'll, uh, we'll reassess and uh, change our game plan. All right guys, we're on here. Just take them, just that sinker. Oh, sorry, the float dropped and we've got a hook up. There you go, that didn't take long. Um, I saw that float pop down and uh, grabbed the rod and bang, she was on. So first one in the boat. Hopefully a few more to come. Okay, so you just saw Johnny grab one and my float disappeared as well. And that's how quickly it happens, guys. You gotta be ready for them. Gotta be ready. And, and make sure that... I've got another one out here as well. And there it is. There's a second one on the boat. So let's get them out because you've got to take advantage of that window. 